On to the next step then, now I've got my painting done on my cladding, uh, I've cut these four brass bands. Now in my last video I think I said I was putting three on, but after that I decided I was going to put four on. Uh, so I've cut these in the, in the usual way, I cut thin sheet. So take a look back at my foot plate video if you want to see how I, how I did that. And I've cut them 5 eighth of an inch wide. I've cut them the full width of the sheet, which is more than I need. And I've done four. So the next step then is to bend this brass band into a circle. And I've got to allow on one end three quarter of an inch to put to bend one leg on. And then I want to allow on the other end an extra three quarter of an inch to come through to hide the gap. And then I'm going to silver solder another leg on in that position for the bolt to come through to clamp it. That way it'll hide that gap. Uh, the, the length I need is my diameter times pi, a bit of mathematics for you there, simple mathematics. And my diameter, when my cladding is on, will come to 5.556 thousandths. I've got to times that by pi, which I've done. That comes to 17.5 inch. Then I've added 3 quarter of an inch for that bend on that leg. And then I've added another 3 quarter of an inch for the band to follow through under the gap there. And that comes to 19 inch. So I'm going to go ahead now and find something just to bend these to bend this round and then we'll continue with that. And also I've just ordered this fire blanket so I can now get this this cut for the insulation around my boiler. It's just a standard one meter by one meter fire blanket. I've got all the four clamping rings finished now uh, and I'm putting these longer bolts in just temporarily to get me on loco. It'll be easier because of the tension that's in the ring. Then once I've got that fitted on I can then I can then nip it with my grips, take the bolt out and then put a proper set screw in like that. That's my plan anyway. So I'll move over to Loco now and uh, we'll have a look at that then. I've got this first this first one fitted. Uh, and how I'm doing it, I'm just slipping the cladding over the insulation. And I've got this tourniquet just made out of a bit of cloth. And because they're very, very springy, it's difficult to get my clamp on we are damaging the paintwork so I've got this tourniquet and I'm just tightening it up and then I'm going to put my clamp over that cloth I've just got to make sure the tracks are lined up. A bit 
fiddly to get that on uh, on camera because I got my arms all over the place. I couldn't get camera in view. So I've managed to get that bolt in now, and I've got that one uh, not fully fastened up, but just enough to hold it. The only trouble is when I take this clamp off, this end's wanting to spring out now. So I'm gonna have to fathom a way how to um, sort that out. Right, I've got to have my arms all over this now, so I'll just get this screw fastened up at the bottom. Right, managed to get that one tightened up. Just this last one to go on now. Right, I think that's it for this one then. And I think I've got to bring this one that way a, a fraction for when the um, cab goes on to sit behind it. Well, that's for another time. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now then. And if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them. And if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.